Should you bulk or should you cut? Every man dreads the awkward skinny fat stage where you barely have any muscle, your arms are skinny, yet for some reason you still have excess body fat and a big belly. This is known as skinny fat. A lot of people think they're doing everything right yet still can't progress out of this phase or are stuck in a yo-yo between bulking and getting overweight or cutting and getting too skinny. Luckily, there are actually three different routes that you can take to go from being skinny fat to building an aesthetic, lean and muscular physique. So in this video, I'm going to explain each route and which one would be best for your exact situation. Before we get into each solution, let's take a look at what exactly causes being skinny fat and how to avoid it. First up on the list, nutrition. If you're regularly eating lots of unhealthy foods like deep fried chips, cookies, and generally processed food, as well as making bad lifestyle choices like drinking excessively and regularly, this can all contribute to becoming skinny fat. With the training, this can have a huge effect too. Being inconsistent and not training hard enough can result in a lack of muscle growth. And then when you couple this with bad nutrition and diet choices, it's easy to be stuck in the skinny fat phase. And now there are a few common mistakes which lead to people becoming skinny fat. One scenario is when an overweight individual tries to cut down way too quickly. And what actually happens is that the individual loses a lot of weight, focuses on the scale, but with that, they also lose a lot of muscle, resulting in not much muscle on their arms or on their body in general, but they still have the excess fat and excess belly fat. On the other end of the scale, it can happen when a skinny guy tries to bulk way too quickly, does a dirty bulk and ends up gaining a lot of excess fat and not too much muscle because they're focusing so much on putting the weight up rather than building muscle too. So that's the causes out of the way. Now we can take some simple steps to avoid becoming skinny fat. Number one, you want to eat a high protein diet and aim for one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Number two, limit your alcohol consumption and reduce excess heavy drinking. Number three, progressive overload and lifting heavy and with good intensity. And number four, eating clean and choosing healthy options the majority of the time. So now we can come on to the three different routes of what to do when you're skinny fat. A bulking phase. This is where you eat in a calorie surplus and you gain weight. Now, a bulking phase could be good for anyone who's skinny fat but have a low body fat percentage. If this is you, what I would recommend is doing a lean bulk. So, this is where you eat in a small calorie surplus of around 200 to 300 and eat primarily healthy foods. This will allow you to gain weight so you'll be able to put on size but still keep a relatively low body fat percentage. However, if you get to the end of the lean bulk and you still got a little bit too much fat, what you can do is do a short cut. So, you can go through a cutting phase and just shred down for a couple of weeks or even a month or two to get that lean defined look. For example, I went through a very similar situation as during my gaining stage, I actually ended up with a low body fat percentage. However, my arms were still skinny and I still had a little bit of a belly and this happened due to incorrect nutrition and not eating the right things. However, from that phase, I then decided to do a lean bulk and I prioritized eating healthily and being in a small calorie surplus. And as you can see, my shape took up a lot better. I still had a relatively low body fat percentage. However, I was able to gain the weight, gain the size and build a much more aesthetic physique without having to do a cut. So with the benefits, you obviously get stronger so you can lift a lot heavier. As well as that, you also have more energy as you're not in a huge deficit and lacking any food. And the bulk is actually very manageable because you're in a small calorie surplus. So it's not too overwhelming and you can still eat good food and food that you like. Of course, there are some downsides with the bulk option. So it is harder to monitor the bulk for your progress as you could be gaining fat rather than muscle. It also can lower confidence even more as you're adding extra weight and as a result, adding extra body fat. So you won't look as good shirtless. Swiftly moving on to option number two, and this is going to be doing a cut. Now a cut is also known as weight loss effectively. So you're in a calorie deficit and you're losing weight. So this is a great option for anyone who has a high body fat percentage and wants to look shredded and lean rather than just massive and big. And once you cut down and get to a low body fat percentage, if you're still not happy with the size that you have, you can then do a lean bulk to add a little bit more size whilst maintaining definition. 
option. A prime example of who would be suitable for a cut would be Carl from my one-to-one -one coaching program. He had quite a big belly and excess body fat. However, he had little muscle and pretty skinny arms. Now, during the cutting phase, it took him just seven weeks to achieve this amazing transformation. And to pull this off, we focused on a high protein diet, but to still find it enjoyable for him, we had some of his favorite meals, such as Swedish meatballs, Oreo overnight oats. So this made the cut way more enjoyable for him. For the training, we ran a four day upper lower split at home, as at the time, he wasn't confident enough to go to the gym. And from sticking to the cutting phase, whilst prioritizing progressive overload and including a lot of compound lifts, he was able to burn fat and build muscle at the same time. And now Carl feels way more confident and has actually started training at a gym, which is amazing to see. So from Carl's fitness journey, you can see how a cut can be ideal and can be a lot quicker sometimes compared to the bulk. But obviously I'd only recommend the cut if you have a high body fat percentage like he did. So in terms of the benefits with the cutting phase, being on a cut first gives you a good base and it makes it easier to monitor the bulk so you're not gaining loads of excess fat. Also, as you are shredding down and reaching a fairly low body fat percentage, you'll look a lot better and you'll feel a lot more confident. With the negatives, unfortunately, you won't get that much stronger when you are cutting the weight as it's harder to build muscle in a cutting phase. Low energy. When you're not eating that much, you will notice the drop off with your training performance and your energy. Also, there is a possibility that after the cut, you may look a lot skinnier. Now, coming on to the final approach, and this is body recomposition. It's not as mainstream or popular as bulking or cutting, however, it is still an option. And with a body recomposition, it's basically where you stay the same sort of weight, but you build muscle and lose fat at the same time. So to achieve this, you'd eat in a very small calorie surplus and train hard and intense. Now, if you haven't got much experience or you're not in a huge rush, it can be a very good option, especially as a lot of people don't want to sacrifice bulking and gaining too much excess fat or cutting and getting too skinny. So it's a very good middle ground. However, it is hard to achieve the two results. So build a muscle and losing fat at the same time and just for a visual example jordan which is one of my coaching clients came on board and we decided to go for the body recomposition so he basically stayed the same weight however he has a much more muscular physique now and even has abs coming through just through this body recomposition phase we were able to strip away at the fat but build muscle at the same time jordan's transformation took around three months so it is a little bit longer with the body recomposition phase However, there's a lot of benefits which I can get into now. It's not as taxing on the body compared to going on a huge bulk or on a huge cut. And obviously, the main benefit is that you get the two for one. So you're able to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, which is perfect. And on the downside, it can take a much longer period of time with some phases taking six months, 12 months or even longer. It's also very hard to track as you stay at the same weight so you can't rely on the scale for your indication of progress. And it can be demotivating as it's much harder to see the visual changes. So that's the three routes. However, there's a few things to note. You may have to combine the phases. So you may have to bulk first to get the size and then cut down to get that shredded look or the other way around. You might have to shred down to get the lean look and then bulk up a little bit to get more size. But in short, if you're still a little bit confused and don't know what's best for you, this is how I choose the solution. If you have a high body fat percentage, but want that lean aesthetic and shredded look, then I'd go for the cut. However, if you have a low body fat percentage and want to get bigger and stronger, then I'd prioritize going on the bulk or the lean bulk. And finally, if you're inexperienced, but you want both, so you want to be shredded and you want to be big at the same time, and you're not worried about the length that it takes, then I'd recommend doing the body recomposition. Once you have your goal, focus on progressive overload and include compound lifts within your training. With the nutrition, reduce added sugars and unhealthy food food options within your diet and just make sure to eat adequate protein, monitor your progress and you'll definitely get there.
And if you wanted the complete guidance on your fitness journey with custom workout plans specific to you, as well as form tutorial videos on how exactly to perform each lift, one-to-one -one weekly check-ins where I analyze your data for lifts, nutrition, sleep, and so much more to provide you with accountability and feedback on how we're going to continue progressing. And of course, the result, a muscular, aesthetic, lean physique, just like I've helped for hundreds of clients. So if you'd like to apply to my one-to-one -one online coaching, you can click on the first link in the description, fill out the form and I'll be in touch. But yeah, that wraps up the whole video. So if you did enjoy it, drop a like, drop a subscription and turn on the notification bell so you know when I'm next posting. It helps me out a ton. So yeah, thanks a lot and I'll catch you in the next one.